recently just purchased these amazing new portable Firefly copper lights, which you can find on Amazon for less than $10. I take the lights to my ceiling fan and set the aperture to 1.4. On the left is a picture of the lights more in focus, and on the right is a picture where I defocus the camera to get a picture of that really cool bokeh effect. I combine the photo on the right with the photo on the left. The more defocused the light is, the more bokeh-like it will appear in the picture, which is exactly why I took the photo on the right, completely defocused so I could get more of that bokeh effect and then overlay it later on the main picture. And if you're wondering how I focused the camera on myself on a 1.4 shallow depth of field, all I did was focus the camera on my second tripod, then I locked the focus to manual mode so that the focus did not change. So that was just a quick little one minute lesson on bokeh and aperture and focusing and now it's time for the editing process. I'm using the clone tool to clone away parts of my bed and also the crease in the wall. And I'm just clicking that background copy layer on and off. And then I'm going to go to my canvas size and I want to make the picture into a perfect square so I'm going to change the width to match the height of the picture and then I'm going to fill in those white gaps. I'm using my lasso selection tool right now to create a selection of the area I'm going to copy and paste onto the main image. So I'm copying and pasting just the picture of the defocus bokeh lights. And I hit Command T on my Mac keyboard to transform the selection so I can stretch out the corners and make it larger so it's just white space showing. And then I'm going to change the blending mode to overlay blending mode. But before I do that, I'm just going to paint in the white gaps so that there's no white space showing up. And then you can see I brought layer number one, the layer of the bokeh lights, on top of all the other layers. So it's on top on overlay mode. And I just created my layer mask on that layer. And I'm erasing away some of the bokeh lights just from my skin because it made my skin a little bit weird looking with the overlay mode. So I just erased that a little bit. And now I'm using the clone tool to clone in parts of the wall so that it blends in a little bit better. And then I'm going to duplicate that layer of the bokeh lights, transform it, flip it horizontally, and then I'm just going to move that over to the opposite side so we can blend that in on the other side as well. And then I'm going to select my clone tool and I'm going to clone some of the bokeh lights in some of the areas on the right side of the wall where there's just a lot of open space that I would like to fill up. And then I'm going to select a brush, a moon brush, and I'm just going to stamp that moon brush onto the main image because the lights kind of remind me of stars and I kind of want more of a fantasy element, so I think that looks pretty good there. And just as a little more of an effect, I'm going to use my eyedropper tool to select the color of the bokeh light and then use brush tools of stars around the picture. To make the picture a little brighter, I'm using the Dodge tool just to brighten up my face with a little touch of exposure. And I'm also going to brighten up the space in front of my face on the wall and some other parts of the picture like my dress and my arms and in that little dark spot in the corner which by the way I really hate that I left it in there in this editing process. It's the shadow on the wall. And now I'm bringing the image into Visco since the entire picture is totally in place. I'm doing the color toning in Visco, V-S-C-O. It's a feature you can purchase for Lightroom. And it's really awesome. It comes with awesome filters. Well, I wouldn't really call them filters. They're more like actions. Really cool, classy, expensive actions that um, are actually really cool. I shouldn't say expensive, but you know, they cost money. It's not free. Um, but they're really awesome. This is actually showing what it looked like before Visco and after Visco. So this is after Visco, the blue toning. And now I'm using my selective color adjustment layers to edit the colors a little bit more and to adjust the toning of the picture a little bit more. And as you can see, it makes a big difference when I reduce the yellow from the, from the blues and it makes the picture a little bit more blue looking. And I just added more cyan to the whites, which added to more blue looking. And this is the before and after of the selective color adjustment layer that I just created. 
This is the final image. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. It was really fun. The only thing I hate about the picture, I shouldn't say hate, but it's that dark corner that's just the dark corner from hell is just going to haunt me forever that I put it in this picture. I can't believe I did that. But I could always redo it, re-edit it. If you like this tutorial, if you found it interesting, please like, comment, share, subscribe. It would really help me out a lot. Right now I'm showing the before and after of what the original picture looked like compared to the after edit and I think it's really cool. Thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial and I can't wait to see you guys for the next one.